Tonight, and we took that away from Ohio. I think we'll be okay tonight. Ohio had a fine basketball team, so you guys must be able to really play. Well, we thought that the uh, Bickett boy and Harris were real fine players, and they had some good role players. I think Anna Jonesboro has good balance tonight. I think that's going to be a problem for us tonight. Congratulations on getting here, and good luck. Thank you very much, Frank. That's Bruce Fershaw. Now let's bring in the head coach of Anna Jonesboro. It's Mike Cruz, and Mike, congratulations on your season. Well, thank you very much. What kind of tempos are going to be in this game? Well, uh, we've been a team that can adjust to just about any tempo, and we'd probably uh, like for it to go a little quicker, but if indeed it doesn't, we're pretty good at uh, setting back and playing a little more deliberate too. What players should the fans watch for? Who are the key players on Anna Jonesboro? Well, we have a well-balanced squad, but uh, the leading scorers, uh, Robbie Wright at 18, Brian Urey at 16-6, and Jimmy Morrison at 14-8 are probably the ones to watch. At what point in this season did you think you had a chance to be here in the assembly hall? Well, last Tuesday night. <laughs> Very good. Thanks so much, and we appreciate your good work. Thank you, Mike. We'll be back at the assembly hall. Now, one of your network sponsors is with us. Let's get to the introductions of Tom Trent here in the Assembly Hall. To the Assembly Hall in our fourth quarterfinal round game of the day. Let's meet the coaches and players involved in the contest. First, for the Wildcats of Anna Jonesboro High School. The head coach of the Wildcats in his third year with a career record of 35 and 42, Mike Cruz. Number 13, Tim Harmon. Number 15, Brian Craig. Number 31, David Marvel. Number 33, Tim Greenwood. Number 43, David Prater. Number 45, Jeff Denny. Number 51, Doug Cruz. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the Wildcats of Anna Jonesboro High School. At a forward, a senior, 6'1", number 35, Brian Yuri. Yuri, the number two scorer. 16.7 average on the season. At forward, a junior, six feet tall, number 21, Jim Morrison. Morrison averages 14.6 each time up. At center for the Wildcats, a senior, 6'4", number 41, Robbie Wright. 18 point plus average at 25 in the Super. At a guard for Anna Jonesboro, a senior, 5'11", number 25, Roger Schote. Schote, key player in the uh, super sectional, nine-point average. And a guard for the Wildcats, a senior, 5'8", number 11, Joel Reed. Reed average of 6.7. That's the starting combination for the Wildcats of Anna Jonesboro. They've had a great athletic year, won the 3A state football championship with many of these same players. Here they are in the assembly hall, the quarterfinal round of the Class A state tournament. Shortly, we'll have the introduction of the Harvard Ball Club. And and now let's Bruce meet the Hornets there. of Harvard High School with a record of 28 and 1. The head coach of the Hornets in his fourth year with a career mark of 75 wins, 34 losses, Bruce Pershaw. Number 12, Tim Bass. Number 14, Dave Lipinski. Number 20, Fred Garza. Number 24, Mike Jones. Number 42, Richard Young. Number 44, Greg Rout. Number 50, Scott Weinstraub. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the Hornets of Harvard High School. At 
Dakota forward, a senior, 6'1", number 34, Mike Fisher. Excellent outside shooter, particularly off the baseline, eight point average. At a forward, a senior, 6'6", number 52, Jamie Martin. This is the All-Stater shooting 68% from the field, averaging 21.8. At center for the Hornets, a senior, six feet five, number 40, Eric Shipke. Headed to Wisconsin on a football scholarship, averages 13 plus. At a guard, a senior, five nine, number 10, Jay Jones. Quick little backliner, 7.5 average. And at the other guard for the Hornets, a senior, six three, number 32, Tom King. Tom King averages 12.6. If King is on, the Hornets will buzz. How about that, Bob? That's real good. Okay. <laughs> the officials for this game are Jim Ponnell of Decatur and Donald Huddleston of Palmer. And one of your network sponsors is Alice Chalmers. <laughs> There's a tractor that rises above the competition and the worst field conditions with a switch that puts the front wheels to work so you can pull heavier implements in the toughest conditions with the shortest turning radius in its class. And rain or shine, front wheel drive can do up to 25% more field work per tank of fuel. The Alice Chalmers 8000 series tractor. Four models over 100 horsepower. See them at your dealer. Hi, I'm Bob Pressman. WROK's live coverage of the Illinois Class AA High School Basketball Tournament continues with the West Sectional at the Metro Center on March 12th and 15th. Brought to you by Project First Rate, Quaker State Motor Oil, distributed by Quality Petroleum, Arntz Insurance, and Smith Schaefer Oil. As the teams are narrowed down, March Madness gets even crazier. And you can count on us for all the action from the West Sectional on March 12th and 15th on WROK 1440. Just about set to tip this one off. Harvard, the champions of the Big 8 Conference, enrollment of 557, way up in the northern portion of the state. Of course, Anna Jonesboro out of the Southwestern Egyptian Conference. They won their first regional title in 23 years to start this tournament grind. Enrollment 586, city population about 6,000, located down in Union County. Okay, we're set to go. Harvard in the white, trimmed in gold and black. The Wildcats of Anna in their royal blue uniform, trimmed in white. In the jump, Eric Shimke for Harvard, and uh, he is opposing Robbie Wright. Opening jump, the Wildcats have it, but it's stolen by Harvard. They kick it out. Here's Jay Jones. And with Shimke on the steal, the big six foot five in center who rolled back, and here's the outside shooter, Tom King. King works it off to Jay Jones, back to King. King slides to the baseline. There's the jumper. Rim the bucket, and Robbie Wright clears the rebound. Robbie for the Wildcats. They come down in the attack quickly off to Jim Morrison. Morrison out front to the point guard, Joel Reed. Bob Dallas knows a lot about this Anna Ball Club. It's in his section of the state, and here's a traveling violation. We got to see Harvard in the super section with Bob, so it looks like uh, a good matchup. This could be a real good matchup. Uh, Anna Jonesboro has a nice ball club. Play good in a hard nose defense, and they get a good press when they turn it on. Looks like they're opening man to man. Well, I think it's kind of a, a you'll see a zone, yeah. I think it'll be a zone in there. Jamie Martin to Fisher. Off to Martin. There's Jamie. There's your all-stater. 684 shooter from the field. A six, phenomenal field goal shooter. 6'6 six, six man shooting at 16 footers. Pretty tough. Wildcats bring it down. There's the point guard, Joel Reed. 5'8", a 130-pound senior, 18-year-old. Got a definite Five. zone down here. Yeah. Harvard is zoned two most of the two. season. They have zoned most of the year. Left corner. Shot taken over there by Morrison. Rebound, Jamie uh, Martin. Across the timeline now to Tom King. In the middle to Shim King. Yeah, they're going to call this one. They call the offensive, offensive foul. foul. That's probably a good call. I thought he might possibly have walked, Art. Looks like he might have traveled. He lost his balance going in the middle there, and uh, let's take a look and see. Call it again, Chorus Coach. Well, I, I really thought he traveled, no, I, uh, and yet I, I know the man set up behind him. But you watch him here. I think he shifts his feet. He, he traveled before he's contact. From the side, Robbie Wright fires one up for the Wildcats. We're back to live action. Harvard on the run. With it is Tom King. King for the Hornets. To Jamie uh, Martin, jumper. Got it. I believe Jamie Martin's on. Beautiful shot. Jamie Here's is the backboard. On. He had 25 points and 16 rebounds in the super sectional win over Ohio. 4 nothing Harvard. Joel Reed. 
working out front for Anna Jonesboro with Jim Morrison. There's Reed's shot. Rebound controlled by Shimke. Off to Tom King. King for the Hornets. 32 years since uh, McHenry County has had a team in the Assembly Hall. I'm not sure that's accurate, but that's the word we got from uh, Bruce Virchow, the uh, coach of the Hornets. Shimke inside. Harvard running this offense effectively, and they lead it 6-0. A lot of size on Anna inside, 52-40. Jamie Martin and Schminke are is really uh, uh, giving up an awful lot of size against uh, Anna there. Yuri's having trouble getting the ball. I don't think he's touched it as yet. Here, Joel Reed juggles it, and Anna throws it out of bounds. Bob, watch the Harvard zone. I got the impression of the super sectional. It was an extremely good one. There it are zones, and one. there are zones, right? Uh, true, and uh, they are. They have the type of people that can play a good zone. Jay Jones uh, lost the ball, then so did Martin to turn over. Here's Robbie Wright. And Anna Jonesboro was on the board. Good fast break. Six foot four inch Robbie Wright went right to the hoop after the steal. A little half court pressure, three quarter court pressure for the Wildcats. Jay Jones, right side for Harvard, off to Fisher. Here's King, King to the hoop. Nice move inside. Tom King with his first bucket. Harvard's lead out to six points once again as Joel Reed brings it across. Reed to Jim Morrison. Reed and Morrison, both members of that 3A uh, state championship football team. Of course, Yuri was the quarterback, right in the paint. Bobby Wright, good soft touch. When you get the ball up on the iron like that and it cradles through for you, you got a pretty good touch on the ball, don't you, Bob? Yeah, it's a true. And uh, uh, now Anna's relying a lot on this press. Now, if, uh, if Harvard can beat the press as they are right now, uh, Anna's in real deep trouble because that's their uh, real big asset is that they do have a nice press. Jamie Martin drilled that one out, and he is very, very effective against the pressure defense. Of course, he's 6'6", six, six, runs the floor extremely well. Right side, jump shot, bullseye. Getting it home, Roger Schote. First shot, Schote is taken. He's averaging 9.4, and it's a 10-6 ball game. Has been accepted by Yuri. Brian Yuri stepped in front, so the Wildcats are at least forcing just a bit of disorganization with their pressure. Well, they'll do that to you, and, uh, you know, they, they can, uh, they got behind Duke Quan down there in the super section, by eight points and in a matter of 30 or 40 seconds they're right back in the game. Right misses but gives the rebound. The rebound off the unprotected weak side to Jim Morrison. And suddenly we've got a two-point ball game. Here's Jamie Martin double teamed by the press. Hook fast to Fisher. Fisher's shot didn't have a chance but a foul is going to be called on Robbie Wright. I mentioned here uh, Mike Fisher is the top student in a senior class at Harvard High School. And I believe that four of the first five, the information we had a bit earlier, four of the first five at Harvard are in the upper 10% of their class. Mike Fisher at the strike. Good looking, Mike. He's 6'1", 180. Harvard, of course, known as the Dairy Center of the World. They have their Mook Days up there, famous festival the first weekend in June. Sure, you'd be welcome. Fisher nets the uh, second one, so it's an 11-8 score. Harvard to a three-point cushion once again. As Joel Reed, a little extended pressure by Harvard now, Bob. They're coming out of that. Yeah, they came out a little up. higher. Meet them at the half court. Right, still drop back quickly back into their zone now. Yeah, right to Reed to Morrison in the middle to right. Yuri, heavy traffic. Yeah, it's gonna count. It is. You'll find that uh, Brian Yuri is a very, very strong shooter. When he gets the ball inside, like he did then. It's, it's tough to stop him because he is so, so strong. Take a look at it again. He just takes it right up with man laying all over him. He's got a lot of streaks. Well, he's a good, uh, you know, he was an all-state football yeah. player, Art. Yeah, he is strong. He'll be at the line trying to complete a three-point play. He can tie it. He does. Uh, he's also a very, very good free throw shooter, Art. 11-11. Tom King for Harvard. The Hornets on the break. Jamie Martin. Well, I tell you, Martin can really wheel and deal. He's got eight points already. Harvard back to a two-point lead. Uh, Joel Reed, little five-foot-eight-inch backliner, brings that ball across on the right side of the floor. Dishes the pass to Rogers. Shows back out front. The jumper is up. Give the field goal to Jim Morrison. Looks like uh, both ball clubs have loosened up here. Anna, in particular. King at the timeline. 2:53. All that remains in the quarter. Been a fast first period. Chimke to Fisher, cross court to King. To Jay Jones, I should say. Rebound, Robbie Wright. And here's a chance for Anna Jonesboro to take their first lead of the ballgame. 
Reed brings it up right side to uh, Schultz. Back to Reed. Back to Schultz. They would like to get the ball into Brian Nury here down low, right, uh, Arch. They'd like to get it into him down around the yeah, baseline watch area. Watch number 35 on the perimeter of the long bomb taken and missed by Jim Morrison. And as uh, Harvard tried to break it out, a foul was called on Morrison. I don't think that's the shot that Coach uh, Mike Drew is really no. wanted. No, he'd like to get the ball into Yuri or uh, to uh, Robbie Wright down low. And especially Yuri is a very strong player. All right, we've got a timeout. With the score deadlocked at 13 apiece, one of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. left for the first quarter as you can see we're even Steven after Harvard jumped into uh, a substantial lead of about six points Anna shooting 50 percent Harvard at a 66 percent clip so both teams uh, find the hoop with good regularity in the opening period now this they is a one two Harvard. two trap and they trap near the midline they use that quite a bit all the time yeah Shimke to Fisher off to King so it's not a you very seldom see coaches change defenses come uh, state tournament time it's a little late then, yeah. isn't it, Art? Yeah, indeed it is. Jamie Martin shot this hung on the outer rim. Yuri, number 35, picks it up off the floor for the blue clad, the Wildcats. Out to Jim Morrison. To Reed. Reed's going to direct traffic now. We're down to a minute and 50 seconds to go in the game's first period. A lot of times they aren't playing for one shot here, but they're looking for the kind of shot they want. Reed. Joel Reed over the zone, 15-13 out of Jonesboro. He won't shoot much. He'll shoot when he's left open like that. He doesn't shoot more, more than probably half a dozen times a game, six, seven times a game. Jones to Shemke to Martin. Martin to Shemke inside. Big guy can't get it home, and Robbie Wright with the board. Wright to Reed, down to Morrison. Pull up. Third field goal for Jim Morrison, and suddenly out of Jonesboro has a four-point lead. Harvard hasn't been behind much in this tournament, although they trail Stillman Valley in the sectional final. Jamie Martin turns it over. He lost the ball far sideline uh, from our broadcasting position, and that's very unusual to see Jamie Martin give the ball up like that. Uh, the pressure, pressure defense, uh, you know, can get to you out there. Art. Here's your turnover, Kyle. Right now, it's even at three apiece. Robbie Wright missed it in the rebound, pulled off by Mike Fisher. Fisher to Jay Jones. Here's Jay down on the fly. Inside the hash mark. Now he comes back out as Reed is on him. Schultz on him. Shimke to uh, Martin. Beautiful Reed. pass. Beautiful Hitting pass the bucket inside. Was Mike Fisher. Fisher off the Martin assist. 17-15. And a Jonesboro by two. 37 seconds to go in the quarter. And now Anna will run it down for one shot. We'll see where they have Yuri. He, uh, Yuri is number 35 in the corner. They'd like to give it to Brian Yuri or, or to Robbie Wright, either one. Wright is number 41. He's got the basketball right now. Out to Reed. Down to 20 seconds. Harvard can to sit back in the zone defense in their 2-3. 15 seconds showing. Uh, Yuri uh, will move in underneath and then right about now. Coming in the side. Yuri in possession. Jimke had the rebound. Couldn't hold it. Eric Shimke went high. The ball has trickled off his fingertips. It'll belong to Anna Jonesboro with six seconds left. Ample time to get off a shot. There's uh, Mike Cruz on the Anna bench. The ball probably going to Robbie Wright here. No, couldn't get it good. Morrison. Morrison drilled it. And giving away size in the middle. The boot. Robbie Wright. Uh, Robbie Wright will hit that shot right there, all right? <laughs> well, they posted him up inside the zone defense effectively. Six-point lead out of Jonesboro. Harvard down quickly. Fisher to King. King can't get started. Here is Jamie Martin. Good rebounding position by Jamie Martin. Martin now has 10. And it's a four-point game with Anna Jonesboro on top. Bob, I really think that Tom King is a key for this Harvard club and needs to uh, get in the scoring column. He only had uh, a field goal in that first period. Fury in the middle. Rebound. Jamie Martin off to Jay Jones. For the Hornets, they fly down quickly. Jones at 5 7. That's going to call traveling, I believe. Yep, traveling violation yes. called by official Don Huddleston. No basket. Harvard is really pushing it up the floor very, very quickly. And they're pushing it up with their big people, Bob. Yeah, they are. Martin. 
Uh, you know, it, it, this is a thing that has so much size on Anna Jones Brown's side there. I'm surprised that, the, that Anna is staying in the game as well as they are giving up as much size inside. Ball is deflected out front. Robbie Wright uh, gets it away. Ted King almost had to steal, or Tom King, I should say. Go read to shoot. In the middle to Yuri. Shot is blocked, deflected by Jamie Martin. Yuri gets it back. This time he drew the foul. I believe uh, Brian Yuri got by with a little walk there, too. Well, he's very strong, isn't he? Very strong in the middle. I think you'll see him walk right here. When he comes back here, he gets it back. He walks it. <laughs> Jamie Martin picked up the foul, his first, and Brian Yuri will go to the line. Shooting two, he's one out of one there tonight. On the season, he's a 72% free throw shooter. 126 of 175. Good at the line. He was the quarterback on the Anna Jonesboro 3A state football champions. They defeated Marquette in a wild and woolly battle. Marquette out of Ottawa for the 3A state football championship at Hancock Stadium on the campus of Illinois State University in Normal back in November. Rebound, Jamie Martin. Martin on the outlet to Tom King. King gets some pressure as the Wildcats play the tough D, no doubt about it. Fisher in the left corner. Back to King, cross court to Martin on the baseline. Here's Jamie. That's a beautiful pass to him. Well, he was. Jimkey tried to get it, deflected away. Joel Reed digs it out for the Wildcats. Anna Jonesboro with a five-point lead. Left side is Jim Morrison to Reed to show. They're looking inside for Wright and Urie all the time in that zone defense. Still a 2-3 for Harvard. Long jumper, no good. Morrison. Rebound, Jamie Martin. Martin is 6'6", 190, a 17-year-old senior. Holds the pass off left side to Jay Jones. Right back out front to Tom King. To Jamie Martin. Beautiful shot. He's an all-stater, no question about it. He sure is. First team selection, both wire services, Illinois Basketball Coaches Association that named into their first team class A yesterday. Three points, point out of Jonesboro lead. There's Jerry. That's show with the basketball. Watch this show. To Morris, Jerry trying to post up inside the zone defense. You can see a pretty good battle between him and uh, Martin. Uh, tuck it on the outside, give it to Jim Morrison. 24 to 19. Yuri's given up a lot of size inside, but he has his real good body strength, upper strength. Here's Shimke. Shimke is a fine basketball player. Also teamed up with Jamie Martin inside. Gives him a lot of size in there. They have a they have a size advantage on Anna so much in there because Yuri's given up about four inches. Parker Schultz works the right. Rebound is taken down by Fisher. Flat-footed to Mike Fisher. Well, Harvard can pull within a point right here. Jay Jones to Fisher, cross court to King. King, got it. Nice shot. Now if he gets going, Harvard will start moving. Beautiful shot. 24-23. He is to Harvard, I'd say, what Brian Urey possibly is to uh, out of Jonesboro, Bob, in a different role, of course. Right. There's Wright on the high post, number 41. This is Joel Reed. Get a little back line. There's Wright. Well, he's got a quick release on me. Yes, just, he has. The bucket. Here's Harvard on the attack. Beautiful, Tom beautiful. King. Tom King starting to get loose, and Harvard has a one-point lead. That's a big league move there, Art. Indeed it was. Another good ball game. Schultz to Brian Urey. Back to Schultz. A lot of Anna Jonesboro and Harvard fans here tonight. First the participating schools, I think, have pretty well handled their technical allotment for this tournament. Morrison to Reed. Back Reed, to show. Reed's going to have to shoot that shot out there. All right. he's, he's, he's left open. There's Jerry. Peters off. Fisher with the board. To Tom King. Dribbles behind his back. What a move by King. Beautiful Martin. feed. Harvard's getting it in gear now. They were yes, right they are. number four in the state. The ball real well. 27 24. Three point lead to the Hornets who are starting to buzz. Here's Reed to Morrison. They're going to have to shoot from the outside, Art. Morrison's not a bad shooter. He's poured in six, 12 uh, points. Awfully big inside uh, for Anna to go against with Yuri and Wright. Tom King just threw a pass that, uh, well, let's see. He's trying to get the ball to Fisher, who's 6 1. He threw it about nine feet high. <laughs> And Tom just shakes his head and is very disgusted with himself. That'll happen once in a while. At least it was a spectacular turnover. Harvard leads it by one. Reed 
to Schultz. Out to Reed. That's who I said need to shoot. They're leaving him wide open. He's not a high score. Well, Anna goes up one. You got to give up something to that zone defense. That's true. Bob. That's right. Almost, they choose to let him go. Almost over and back. But Harvard retains possession. They need a bucket to take the lead. They go to their bread and butter. Martin misses it. Fisher. Mike Fisher with a great rebound off the left side. One point lead to Harvard. We've had a little action here tonight, gentlemen. Oh, this is a great ball game. It's been a great session. The first one wasn't exactly Dullesville, you know. I didn't see that's anybody dozing near that's that one. That's true. Here's Schultz to Morrison to Reed. Simpke, Big Eric with the rebound, headed for Wisconsin to play football. King to Jay Jones. Rebound, gets the field goal underneath the Fisher. Mike Fisher at Harvard is leading by three once again. Both coaches are men in motion in this one. Bruce Virchow for Harvard and Mike Cruz, Robbie Wright. Listen, this is a dandy. You score, I'll score. Yeah. 31-30, Harvard by one. Jay Jones. Pressure is really half court right now, isn't it, Bob? It is, it is definitely. It looks like an offensive foul. And it was. You, you make good official. You decide to give up coaching, you on the stripe and Yeah, <laughs> okay. There's Bruce Virchow, the, the skipper at Harvard. Let's take a look, Bob. Definitely dropped his shoulder here. Yeah, I think I could have called that. Yeah, I believe we could. From over here, we call it. Well, we've got a time. 148 to go in the half, 31-30 Harvard, and one of your network sponsors is Lasso. 148 to go in the half, 31-30 ball game. You see it on the scoreboard. And the scoreboard has been lit up, I guess. I'm not sure that's correct grammatically. You're a teacher, Bob, but there's a lot of points scored anyway. Look at that rebounding edge to Harvard. 16-6. Well, they have so much size advantage in there with against Yuri and Wright, and they're doing a good job. They're boxing off well and putting the ball back in the go. All right, play about to resume. What kind of games coaches, uh, it makes coaches very, very nervous because you're obviously, you have two explosive basketball teams there. Well, I think the big worry you have is uh, both teams are hitting so well, you just hope you can keep up and what happens yeah. if you don't, you yeah, know? That's right, you, and you hope you're not the first to cool off. That's exactly right. Beautiful shot by Brian Urey. Brian Urey. <clears throat> Urey off balance, leaning in, falling away. Kerb Plunk in the hoop. 32-31, the Wildcats by one. <laughs> Fisher, cross court. Tom King. Jamie Martin. Boy, I'll tell you what impressed me about Harvard is their ball movement. They get the ball to the open man with great, a great deal of ability. 33-32, one point Harvard lead. Joel Reed kind of bounces over the 10 second line as he works to Jimmy Morrison. Roger Schultz. They look inside to right, and Yuri is now going uh, to the high post and right to the low post. Yuri's having a little trouble getting the ball because they're sagging a guy back in front of him, namely Jay Jones, number 10. This is Schultz from the side. Rebound, Yuri. Yuri always manages to get to the glass, though. No matter where he starts, he's usually under that hoop. <laughs> That's true. He goes to go well. 34-33, out of Jonesboro. 38 seconds for the half. Tom King for Harvard. One, one, one. And you can hear very audibly the Harvard staff yelling to play for one shot. 28 seconds left to go in the first half of the ball game. Anna Jonesboro leads it by one at 34-33. Harvard's a well-disciplined ball club, Art. They really are. They do a fine job of handling the ball. Jay Jones to Tom King. They'll look for Jamie Martin, of course. A well coached ball others. club. Here's the cross court to King. Now down to nine seconds. They gotta move pretty quickly. Six seconds, jumper King. Good. Get the roll. In the iron, he got the roll. And that's it. The first half of a fine quarterfinal game is history. At halftime. Stick around, friends. Harvard 35. Out of Jonesboro, 34. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies. A straight all-stater, no question about it. He's just a great ball player. No doubt about that. And he's a young man. Gonna, as Frank Bassoni mentioned off the air a moment ago, he's got great potential. He's just going to get better he and sure better. He is. He has good range with his shot. He's very close to the leading scorer of all time for the team. And I see why. Now, I think he could break that in the tournament if they would play uh, three games there. Tom King to Jay Jones. 52 is Jamie Martin. He's directing traffic at the high post. Fisher, number 34. This is Jay Jones against a very active 
issue called a 2-3 zone. Tom King missed the ball, missed everything, just barely turned off the board. Down quickly, out of Jonesboro, and here's a traveling violation. Jim Morrison had it, this juggled it momentarily. This barely juggled it, he might have had the layup. Well, I think, the, I think the wrong guy called the play. It definitely was a, it was a walk, but I think the man on top of the play did not call it, and the man following it saw it. A walk is a walk is a walk, however. That's Bob. right. Whoever sees it. <laughs> <laughs> There's King. King to Jay Jones. Great move by Roger Schultz. Schultz cut right in front of Fisher. As uh, Harvard tried to go back door to Fisher a little bit, but uh, Schultz was there. To break the play up. Ball is going to be triggered in now by Tom King. To Jones. Jay Jones, not much of a scorer. That's his first field goal of the evening. 7.5 average. Harvard's lead is three. Harvard's staying in that zone now. Yuri. Show. Inside, Brian Yuri. Rebound is hauled down by Fisher. Mike Fisher's one of your blue collar type ball players. You don't. Uh, Get a lot of Valley Hill, hear a great deal about him. All he does is rebound, score, and play defense. That pretty well covers it. That's it. Tom King to Jay Jones. Jones having a good ball game as the floor leader out here tonight for Harvard. Here's King. King trying to bob. Great feed into Jamie Martin. Jamie gets it. He's going to put it down, probably. Beautiful. 39 34. We've seen some very fine passing today. I think perhaps the flashiest passer was uh, Thad Amata from. Uh, he hoops that a lot of players. people out. But there are a lot of guys who pass that ball well today. Roger show spins out. And it's going to belong to Harvard. The Wildcats from out of Jonesboro, like a lot of teams in this tournament without great size, they fly three guys to the boards. And have obviously made up for their lack of height against most clubs that way. Harvard has inched into a five-point lead. I think the Hornets had it out to what, five or six in the first half? Now it's seven. That's Eric Shimke. Shimke from Martin. And Anna's going to take a timeout. Timeout for the Wildcats. Well, they're utilizing those big boys inside. They are. 6.06 to go in the game's third quarter. And one of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. Quickly, some scores. Uh, Frank, you want to hit a few of those? Uh, double-A sectional scores while we have a moment here. All right, let's check a few. Bolingbrook beat Treat Monee at Romeoville, 68-62. Springfield Landfair with Ed Horton, 80. Springfield, 50. Elgin beat Hoffman Estates, 58-42. Homewood Flossmore advances over Chicago Heights Bloom Trail, 52-48. Aurora East a winner over Downers Grove South by 11. Pick up a few more as we have an opportunity. Here's Anna Jonesboro on the attack. Robbie Wright went high and uh, right over the top. He's called over the top, right? Aurora East, a winner over Downers Grove South by 11. Rockford Boylan beat Woodstock 77-46. Here's one. Leiden in an upset beat Proviso West in overtime. Leiden 64, Proviso West 62, and the number one team is beaten and gone. Chicago Mount Carmel 64, Dalton of Thorn Ridge 52. That is a stunning upset with Proviso West and a stunning blow to Lowell Lucas, who making his bid to make his first trip here to the Assembly Hall. But a great win for Leiden. Chicago Heights Hersey, a winner, 52 to 50 over Mount Prospect. All right, back to this one. 41-34, uh, seven-point lead for Harvard. Inside the shifty. Robbie Wright really hit that offense defensive board. Here are the Wildcats from out on the run. Reed to Wright. Oh, what a great rebound by Jay Jones at 5-7. Jones sweeps it out to Jamie Martin. The Hornets. Tom King, Shifty. Good ball movement once again. Harvard is outscored out of Jonesboro, 8 to nothing here in the third quarter. That's about the way the Wildcats started the first quarter, Bob. That's true. I think that uh, they utilize those big, big kids inside. It's really giving them Anna, a lot of trouble. Morrison was the shooter on the rebound. A foul has been committed, and uh, it's going to be a common violation. Harvard will take it out. A couple of more quick wins, Art. Ottawa beat Rock Falls 60 to 58. Ottawa winner at Peoria Richwood 74, Quincy 69. Carbondale beat Effingham 62 to 50. Cahokia beat Alton 77 63. Harvard on the attack. Baseline Fisher. I think Anna, Anna 
Atlanta needs to call a timeout and get reorganized. They just lost the ball. Yeah, Jay Jones almost had a steal. Uh, Suddenly, it's an 11-point Harvard lead. Joel Reed to shoot. Here's Morrison. Well, you're playing well on offense. That defense seems to get ever so much cover. That's Chris. Roger Schultz deflected from Yuri to Robbie Wright. Ball loose. Still loose. Joel Reed picks it up. Wright drills it. Robbie Wright got the first bucket of the ball game for him, and he broke the drought here in the third quarter. It's been a 10 to 2 scoring there for Harvard and a foul on uh, Brian Yuri. Yeah, yeah. He, said he, he was moving a little bit. He didn't get down. Yeah, Tom King went all the way to the hoop and Yuri fouled him. Yeah, he definitely moved. He just didn't get down. You see he's still moving here as he as he picks him up. See, he slides into his left. That's only the fourth foul in the entire ball game on out of Jonesboro. Tom King will be shooting a pair. King has a, a good shooter, a good ball handler. King He's is a an basketball player. Shooter, right? He sure is. King from the uh, free throw line is 6 13. All right, down quickly. Morrison, Morrison. Kind of out of control, but Robbie Wright boards it and got it. Robbie Wright. Here's Fisher on the pull-up. Jamie Martin gets it on baseline, left side of the floor, and out of the traffic comes Tom King, and King's going to be called for the offensive foul. First foul of the second half on Harvard. So Anna Jonesboro will inbound it. We're down to 3.55 to go in the third quarter. I definitely, uh, he dropped his shoulder here. He just keeps bumping him. He keeps, and he pushes him with his arm. Definitely good call. Yeah, once you drop the shoulder, it's kind of That's a dead right. giveaway. And then if you sure push is. and shove. And then he pushed with the left arm. <laughs> well, they've already caught you by that time. That's right. <laughs> Reed to Yuri. The show. Yuri's on the boards again. Yep. Yuri follows. Jamie Martin is there. He sweeps it out. Here's the uh, charge once now again. He walked travel hard. Travel, travel fire. first. That's yep. He would have been called for the That's charge, right. but he, he walked sure with it first. He took the two steps first. Harvard very intent to try to get the break. They want to break somebody out. They have been able to do that rather frequently. And a wise defensive play on the part of uh, Anna Jonesboro to get somebody in position. Takes a little courage to take the charge, too. Hey, with sure guy some of these guys, yeah. there's some big men out there. Shoat on the way. Rebound tied up. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on Morrison. And that will bring Coach uh, Mike Cruz to his feet. They're going to jump it. No foul. That's what I thought. He called it first. Yeah, there you see Mike Cruz uh, sitting back down on the uh, Anna Jonesboro bench. They'll jump it. Of course, Bruce Birchow doesn't think that's sitting down. He gets up and asks a couple of questions. Bat it off. Here's King. King on the breakout for Harvard. Tom King now with 11 points, and it's a 10-point lead. Harvard up by 10 once again, this time at 48-38. Roger Schultz. Ball kicked away from right. Back out to Joel Reed in the paint. Joel Reed gets down his third field goal. And out of Jones, Burrow claws back within eight. Jay Jones lost the ball and is going to be called for traveling. Good double team that time by Reed and Morrison. And as you can see, uh, Mike Cruz is very, very happy with that turn of events. Is he intent or is he intent, Bob? Well, he, he's into the game pretty hot right now. He, his team's behind and not playing very well, and, and I think that uh, Mike might be looking for a call or two also. And Bruce Furchow wants a timeout, I think. No, he's going to send it back. He's going to send it back. They aren't going to take a timeout. So with 2.59 in the half, it's still 48 to 40. Anna has the basketball after forcing the turnover. Burchow formerly coached at Leland High School in Northern Illinois. Yuri with the jumper. It uh, is rebounded by Jamie Martin once again. Martin pulls down a few rebounds for you as well as everything else. Eric Shifty. There's Martin on the way. Shifty. Right hand. Came in did a great Shifty. job. Great rebound. 50 to 40 ball game. Harvard by 10. In the middle right. Bobby Wright playing a ton as well. Wright with 14 points. Eight-point Harvard lead. Harvard just can't get away and hide as the Wildcats keep coming back at them, and Jim Morrison picks up the personal foul. No question about this foul here. 
Uh, Bruce Virchow is going to mention this at halftime in his fourth year at Harvard. Also coached a season or two over in Indiana before coming back and taking the Harvard job. Ball to be inbounded. Here's Jay Jones. Cross court now to uh, Tom King and uh, Reed ties him up from behind. Joel Reed got in there 5'8", a 130 pound senior. Reached up with uh, on Tom King and uh, King stands 6'3 and forced the jump ball. So they'll jump it in the center circle. Got it off. Controlled by Anna. Boy, Reed got on the step liner that time. I believe he got a little quick tip in. Yeah, huh? I think he might have jumped the shade early. I think. Reed to show in the corner to Morrison. Back to show. Reed's open over there if they give it to him on the other side. He's wide open if they cross court it. Not a lot of defensive pressure on Reed. They let him shoot for the most part okay. tonight. Robbie Wright. Jamie Martin battles for the board, but Morrison gets it. Martin blocks it. Off to Reed. Inside to Wright. Offensive foul. Traveling. Traveling. That's what he called uh, offensive foul. A little bump and run on the inside. I can see the call coming, but uh, That's right. they call the traveling violation. There again is uh, Mike Cruz. I think he was after Robbie Wright there a little bit. He wasn't satisfied with Robbie. He wanted, it, wanted to put it on the floor. Here's Jamie Martin. Tied up. Martin and Fisher. And they will jump. Well, we've had a bunch of jump balls suddenly in the third quarter of this ball game. Another quick tip. Fisher controls to Jay Jones for Harvard. To Shimke. Shimke. And a foul is going to be called up. On Yuri, I believe, as well. Yes, it is away from the ball, so it'd be another one on one here. Basket's gonna count. Okay. 52 42 Harvard. Jamie Martin will go to the line, and Yuri picks up his second personal foul as we sort it out for you. This could be a four point play. Martin with 18 points already in this one. Yeah, this is a one and one, is it not? Yes, it is. Well, Mr. Martin will now take the bonus. Came into the ball game, averaging a gaudy 21.9 points per game and 10 rebounds per outing. Field goal percentage, 684. Free throw shooter, 772. Not a bad senior year. I'd say he's a fine ball player. He sure shows me a lot. I like the way he plays, both ends of court. Pops that one home, and Harvard leads it by 12. This is their biggest margin, 120 to go in the third quarter. The winner takes on the Chrisman Cardinals in the lower bracket semifinal tomorrow afternoon. And there is Jim Morrison threading the needle. Ten point lead as Harvard uh, working well against this pressure. Tom King now bust out of it. He meets the double team. Off to Martin. Martin slow changes hands Beautiful with the pass. ball down the lane. Beautiful pass by Tom King. Beautiful. Ball was deflected. King got it in there, but Martin with great hands recovered and scored. Joel Reed to Yuri. Yuri against Shimke. Deflected off the floor, and Tom King has it for Harvard. King roars it down. They want one shot. King doesn't see the bench, but he drew the foul. They wanted King to pull it up and start to play for one shot. I don't think uh, Tom was even glancing over at the Harvard bench. See it, Bob. Yeah, he definitely got him. The coach was wanting to hold it up and run the clock out for one shot, and yeah, then he didn't see. He was in the drive. He had no way of looking over here. Robbie Wright uh, picks up his third foul as uh, King goes to the line. His first miss. He's uh, now one out of two. 11 points for Tom King thus far. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Rebound is controlled by Brian Urey. Anna down quickly. Roger Schultz. Hey, hey, hey. Up front to Reed, to Morrison. Jamie Martin with another big board. Off to Jay Jones. Jones to King. King down the lane to Martin. The coach was hollering one again. They went in and scored. 58-44. Harvard has exploded to a 14-point cushion. King and Martin getting their act together. Brilliantly down the stretch in this quarter. Here's Schultz. Rogers will not go Fisher with the board. Only a second or two left, Shimke, one second. To Martin, he almost threw that one in. Almost threw it in from a step or two inside the 10-second line. Early jump. 
I was going to say, 12 turnovers yeah. don't hurt you too much when you're shooting 69% from the field. Well, they said Robbie Wright got to it on the way up. Jim Pownall, the veteran official from Decatur, said, hey, that's not going to happen to me again. Harvard inbounds. Jay Jones looks inside, and now we have a traveling call. Don Huddleston has made a jillion traveling calls out here tonight. No question any of them. I just say he made a lot of them. Means he must have been in the fast lane, Bob. Traffic I believe all right. that. Yuri yeah, pulls it up. Good athlete, Brian Yuri. A little soft uh, effort toward the hoop, and he has 10 points. Here's Jay Jones, 12-point lead for Harvard. Anna Jones were, of course, desperately trying to put pressure on and close the gap, and Jamie Martin was fouled. Really goes to Schultz or to uh, Reed. Could go to either. I think it went to Reed. He went to show. I'm sorry. Wrong <laughs> again. They both found him. One out of two, and you, man, you missed it, Bob. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jamie Martin at the line. Having a typical Martin night, 24 points. He's just equal his output in the super sectional. 59 to 46. He gave a little tip of how he's going to perform this year. He started the season with 37 in their opener. Yeah, right out of the blocks in that Thanksgiving tournament. Indeed, he did. 60 to 46. What if Bruce Furchow bought a house in Harvard after that, you suppose? <laughs> Beautiful move there by Jim Morrison. Morrison. Out of Jonesboro, still in the ball game, but they're going to have to make a move quickly. And Harvard has just turned it over. Now, this pressure ultimately has given the. Uh, it's a little difficulty, but when they go with their big people and get the ball in the middle of the floor, they don't have too much trouble. And the fact, too, that uh, if Anna gets them scattered out on defense and gets them in a running game, uh, they're getting open shots. But once the defense sets up, uh, Anna's having a lot of trouble getting a shot off. They can get them strung out, they can get shots up. But one Jamie more... Martin, who is a human vacuum cleaner on that defensive board, has picked off another one. Uh, definitely good. Simpy collides with Wright. They call the foul on Wright. Yeah, Wright moved in under him. Art, has there been a substitute in the game? I don't think so. Nope. nope. Five, five on each side. That's no, unusual. It goes up in the air, and uh, Robbie Wright moves right underneath him. Good call, referee. There has not been a substitute. Harvard only substituted one. In the super sectional, Bob, did Anna go to their bench with any uh, degree? I uh, not too much. They play these these, these people here. Uh, will play most of the game here. They uh, they can they go about six deep. Simpy was that well, line. Here he travel. Bob, from a coaching standpoint, you don't want your players breaking the pressure coming toward the sideline, do you? No, you don't. You you want to keep the ball in the middle of the court, and this is the the point here that uh, see this is what uh, Anna is best when they get the ball over in the corner and aside the that they can stop you. Once the ball goes in the middle of the court, so they've beaten it. There's your turnover count, 13-9. Bruce Virchow, maybe we can get a shot of this. He signals. Now you see here, he's here we're talking about it. Right yeah. Going right into the trap area. There's Reed. And we're going to get another shot here, maybe two pitches. Joel Reed with the steal and the layup. Might have been an intentional, intentional foul. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Foul goes to Jay Jones, and we're going to have a timeout taken by Harvard as a result. 631 to play. Harvard leads it by 10. One of your network sponsors is Lasso. <laughs> 631 left in this one. 10-point Harvard lead. Lasso, Monsanto's Lasso, the Yule Protector, is proud to be one of the co-sponsors of this Class A tournament. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow as we crown the 1985 Boys Class A champion. Art, oh, just as a repeat, no. uh, because of the importance to basketball fans around the state, number one ranked Proviso West in double-A was beaten in overtime by Franklin Park Leiden, 64 to 62. Free throw by Joel Reed, misfired. Now that was the lead into the two-shot violation that was called just prior to the timeout. Both teams, Iron Man performances here tonight. They've gone the distance. The five players. It's both shots. Yuri. And Yuri. Rebound. Let's see who's going to come out with this. Going to go to Anna Jonesboro. Looks like Jamie Martin might have touched it last, week number 52. Jamie, at least in hairstyle, Frank, remembers, uh, resembles a young Jack Sigma. He sure does. When he played down here at the Assembly Hall. Jack's got curly hair now, doesn't he? He's got a perm. That's Brian Yuri in the paint. He 
eight-point ball game. Long, long way to go. Harvard 60 out of Jonesboro, 52. And the reach in on uh, Reed. Reed. I, I know I had that one right, Art. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one only blue one uniform one. close right. to the guy. <laughs> Maybe I should take that back. Maybe you better not go into officiating. Oh, well, okay. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Stick with coaching. Right. Okay, at the line is going to be Tom King. King's performance at the stripe tonight, one out of three. Rebound is controlled by Yuri. Anna can close within six. Here's Morrison. Morrison goes down uh, left side, nothing there. Choke. Uh, look at Jamie Martin working the inside. Knock that away. Reed at the top of the circle, and the rebound pulled down by Jamie Martin once again. Martin's rebounding figures have to be staggering. We'll check very shortly and see what they are. Well, 12 rebounds for Martin already. No sooner said than done from Matt Johansson here, seated to my left. Gives the field goal to Tom King. Beautiful pass, beautiful feed to Tom King. Harvard back with a 10-point lead. Joel Reed to Morrison. Yuri trying to break free on the inside along with Robbie Wright. Joe can't get it. And there's rebound number 13 for Jamie Martin. Kicks it off to King. I think they want to run a little time on the clock, but nobody's done that all day. The only club around the time was the Hoops at East Lynn for about 30 seconds. Mr. Martin. Jamie Martin inside has just uh, played a beautiful ball game. 28 points for Martin. He scores. Now he's feeding off the ball, too, which makes him even more effective. Morrison brings it back, and this time the rebound. Eric Shimke. Fans yell moose when Shimke goes up. There's Martin again. Bruce Virchow leaps out on the floor. The coach of the Harvard Hornets and Anna Jones World was making a run. Now they're going to have to take the time out. 444 left. It's Harvard 66 out of Jones World 52. And one of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. Inside to Yuri. Loose. Scramble out of a choke. Rebound, Morrison, and uh, pulled down by Shimke momentarily. Now Tom King has it for Harvard. Tom King, 6'3", 165, a senior. That was on number 40, pushing off here. Shimke and uh, Joel Reed, and Reed really hit the deck. You see a Reed play on this number one. Three. You'll see that uh, Shimke really gave uh, Reed a shove here. Here's Bruce Virchow, who is uh, kind of pacing around in front of the bench. There you see Eric Shimke with his third foul, pacing back down the opposite of the floor, and Mike Cruz up directing the Anna Jonesboro Club. At the line, a slightly shaken, and understandably right. so, Joel Reed. True enough. He really took a pretty good leg. Just on the outer rim, one to go in, Bob. Hey, that's three. You missed that two while ago. Sometimes that ball just will not go in the hole, no matter how hard you want it. He's 0 for 3 from the line. Yeah. He used a pretty good free throw shooter. Pop that one in. 66-53. And here is the blocking foul on Reed against Jay Jones. An offensive foul has been called. The other way, it's going to be a double foul. It's going to be a double foul. Well, you both referees called it differently. So, you know, I, I believe it might have been an offensive foul. Jim Pownell called it one way, Don Huddleston the other. They'll jump it as a result. That's right. It'll be a center jump. That was Jay Jones involved for uh, Harvard. And Joel Reed for Anna Jonesboro. We've got about every call in the book here today. I'd say we have. 66-53 Harvard, and uh, on the jump, the Hornets control it. Tired in their white home uniform, Jay Jones out to Tom King. Now we see a little real heat as uh, King tries to go to Fisher. Into Shimke. Gonna call it a jump ball. And basketball suddenly drawing a crowd on the inside as the Wildcats definitely trying to claw their way back, but they're down 13 with just a little better than half of the final period to be played. Be with you tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Remember the early start on Saturday. They went to that two or three years ago. An upper bracket semifinal between Hoops and East Lynn and St. Mel will get out of the blocks at 11 15. Shimke scores. Eric Shimke was 14. Now it's a 15-point Harvard lead, the biggest lead the Hornets have enjoyed. Morrison to Rogers Schultz to Reed against the Harvard zone to Morrison. Rebound again pulled down by Martin.
Martin, I believe that's 14 for him on the boards. Tom King, left wing, Jamie Martin, hook pass, Jay Jones, great block by Wright. Great block by Robbie Wright on the inside. Up come the Wildcats. Reed in the middle, gets the ball to Wright, off the glass. Fury with the board, he skies, whistle and a foul. Stop and play as Brian Urey really got on the step ladder on the inside. Got a pretty good vertical jump, Bob. Oh, he's a very strong jumper, and he's strong once he gets the ball off the board. He does a great job handling the ball inside. Watch your Urey in here, 35. Oh, there he goes. He's so strong. You notice when he gets the ball, he comes down, he's going right back up with it. The man leaves his feet and comes down on his back. Tom King picked up the foul. Unlike the first game tonight, nobody's really in serious foul trouble in this one. Urey at the line. He's a good look at Brian. Pepper the cores tonight for 13 points. Make it 14 right here. He's ran all of that for a victory. You can be sure of that. But Harvard is leading by 14 at 68-54 with 3.18 to play. Deep breath for Yuri. Sixty-eight fifty-five as Harvard brings it down. Tom King. Yuri moves out on King, and now Morrison's got King. You can see the chase going on. Morrison, 21. Here's five-second violation. And Bruce Virchow is up on the edge of the floor. You can see him there, the Harvard coach, showing the officials where the hash mark is. A five-second violation, not penetration, right, Bob? That's right. Closely guarded. He was closely guarded, and that there was no question. <laughs> Reed to Morrison. On the way. Well, they just hurt Anno. They cooled off on the outside. Yeah, they do. they're not hitting the outside, and it's tough for them to get inside with as much size as uh, uh, Harvard has in there. Jamie Martin to King, the lefty. Rebound, Morrison, but it's all loose on the floor. King picks it up. Down to Fisher. Mike Fisher. 70-55 ball game now. It looks like Harvard is going to advance. Here's Robbie Wright. He can't get it to stick. Deflected off to shoot. Shoot shot. Uh, of course, is uh, not a course, but this carom's off. Down quickly. Harvard losing the ball was Tom King. We're going the other way. Joel Reed. Four right, knocked out of bounds by Fisher. There are times in the finest of basketball games, things become completely disjointed, and that was one of those trips. I wonder, uh, Coach, if you think uh, Bruce Pershaw of Harvard will get a few reserves here and give some frontliners some rest. Uh, he should because he, uh, he's got the game pretty well under control, and he's going to have to come back tomorrow and play uh, two ball games. And listen, that second ball game tomorrow can kill you. You know that, Frank. The bucket went to Robbie Wright, and now Harvard, uh, they're content, you would think, to run a little time, 70 to 57. Jamie Martin. The physical rebound, Wright and Fisher was on him. And Fisher picks up the personal foul, his first. In the second half, Harvard has been whistled for only six fouls and out of Jonesboro for uh, just nine. I, uh, There's Bruce Virchow pacing. I agree with Frank. I believe it's time for some subs to be in here because after all, tomorrow there's two ball games they have to play. Two tough ball games. Neither team has gone to the bench at all. No substitute. Look at Robbie Wright for the season. 75.4 at the line, 50.5 at the field. Boy, look at that rebound by Shimke. Oh, man, big number 40. Swepper off of there. He's headed to Wisconsin, as we mentioned her a couple of times tonight, on a football scholarship. And Morrison has called for the reach in out front. Three fouls on Jimmy Morrison. He and Jamie Martin has really controlled the inside games here tonight. Shimke is just a not spectacular, good, steady basketball player, Bob. He sure is. And you team him up with Jamie Martin, it takes a lot of pressure off of Martin, and it frees him up. And Although I would have to say he was kind of spectacular on that last rebound. What about the matchup tomorrow? He'll go up against Redmond from the... Uh, well, that would be a, a nice matchup. I think that uh, this Redman can play out there with these guys. You'll come to see it, won't you? I sure will. Hope our viewers will be along tomorrow. It should be a great semifinal session. Take the air at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Hoops in East Len against St. Mel in the first one. Chrisman, it looks very much like Harvard in the lower bracket semifinal. Joel Reed for Adam. Martin goes for the rebound, and Brian Urey showed his strength. Jamie Martin was reaching over. Urey had the inside position, but he was on the outside away from the basket. He was inside of Martin. I believe we've seen more jump balls uh, than I've seen all season. Putting a lot of them in the second half, haven't there? Sure. Reed to 
Morrison. Of course, Anna just cannot hit the hit the goal at all now. Well, the whistle stopped play. That was on Jamie Martin. Here comes Don Huddleston over. And he does make the call. You're right on Jamie Martin. Third on Martin. Gonna see it again here. And Jamie Martin's over the top. He yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good there. shot. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Yuri back at the line. Take it again. Another angle. He <laughs> really gives him a good crack here. Pretty good shot from the other angle, so too. Either it? angle you want to look at, he got him. <laughs> it's a double foul. Jerry Wheatley, our director, likes uh, those replays. Those tough fouls on the inside. <laughs> All right. Kicking it out is Tom King. Here's King coming to the timeline. The left-handed dribble for Harvard. They still lead by 13. We haven't any scoring here for a while. We're down to a minute and 15 seconds to play. Harvard has gone to their four quarters. They're spreading it. Jay Jones. Jay down the lane, right down the pipe, and he was fouled by Brian Urey. Three fouls on Urey. Jay Jones thought he saw an opening. It was a momentary opening, and uh, Jones took it inside. He did draw the foul. What do you say to your kids, Bob, in a situation like that when you know you want to run time and suddenly they say, hey, I got a chance to score? Hey, you know, they're, they're sh you should have a long pole with a hook on it so you can reach up there and grab Mark. You know, this is frustrating. You tell kids, run some time. I'll run some time. Here goes somebody drives it up or somebody shoots a 22 footer. Of course, the kids at Ridgeway wouldn't do that, would they? Well, not but once. <laughs> Tomorrow we will have teams with one, two, three, and four losses and 30, 29, 28, and 27 victories. Great field, Yuri. Rebound right. But Frank, for the first time in what, three years, we will not have an undefeated Class A state champion. That's correct, three in a row. Shimke has right ball down. Eric Shimke at the layup. Robbie Wright was trying desperately to catch him, just lost his footy. Robbie's tired. How can you blame him? Boy, what a battle he has put up out there tonight. The first substitute, Dart. Into the ball game, Mike Jones. 5'9", 165, a junior number 24, comes in for Mike Fisher. For Harvard. 11 points for Mike Fisher. Shoot. Tom King with the board. Down to 35 seconds. Tom King has done an excellent job handling the ball tonight. Yes, the pressure. There's the drive in layup by Joel Reed. And we're going to have a timeout taken. Timeout is taken by Anna Jonesboro. I think he's going to let everybody yep. play. Only 24 seconds left. And one of your network sponsors is the Cal Pfizer Genetics. In this ball game, Jamie Martin with 30 points. What was his final rebound count, Brad? Can you give that to me? Martin is still out there with 24 seconds left. But I have a hunch he'll leave shortly. 15 boards so far for Jamie Martin. Still has a shot at a couple of more. King stays out. The other uh, personnel is different. Uh, Greg Ralph on the floor, number 44. Number 50 is Scott uh, Weinstra. Ball is loose. And taken away by the Wildcats of Anna Jonesboro. Controlled here by David Prater. On the left side. Prater brought the ball down quickly and called a timeout period. He had two, uh, two players that hadn't been in the game yeah. yet. I want to get a couple of more kids in the ball game. So the Anna Jonesboro roster is going to be in there. Uh, Tim Hammond, Greg Bryan, David Marvel, Tim Greenwood, David Prater, Jeff Denny, and Doug Cruz. That was Doug, the coach's son, to call the timeout. Husky young man at 6'1", 220, just a sophomore, 16-year-old. Coach's son, I guess that's his responsibility, huh, Bob? That's right. He goes in. He, uh, I saw him play a couple other times this year, and uh, it's great to get him in the game. Everybody gets in. You get beat, you might as well let everybody in because they, they, they can talk about... Well, you know, they've the all first, contributed to The first year, they say they played eight seconds, and then, uh, <laughs> and then on, I guess, they were play three quarters in another couple Well, we're going to be leaving you very rapidly, very, very shortly, so I'll tell you that Jamie Martin had 30 points for Harvard, Eric Shimke had uh, 16, and uh, it was a 13-point effort for Tom King, 11 for Mike Fisher, so they had four starters in double figures, 18 for Robbie Wright for Adam, 16 for Jim Morris, and Brian Urey had 14, and 11 uh, also scored out there by Joel Reed. It's just about over. Ball is fired up against the board, and that's it. The basketball game is history, and the Harvard Hornets advance as they have now won their 27th straight ball game.
27 in a row. Their record overall is 29 and 1. They capture a decision here by a final margin of 74 to 61. And we'll meet Chrisman tomorrow. So that's the uh, story. Tomorrow in the semifinals, Hoops in East Lynn against Providence St. Mel at 11.15. Chris Flynn against Harvard in the second game. We'll have them both for you at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is Art Kimball for myself, Coach Bob Dallas, and Frank Fasoni wishing you a very pleasant good evening. See you tomorrow morning from the Assembly Hall in Champaign. Night and I thought they responded very well. Thank you very much. I was real uh, happy the way we came out and we shot very well. And uh, I think that says a lot for our kids to come out and play well on a, a first time we've ever been in assembly hall. I was particularly impressed with Jamie Martin. Does he always do all those things? Well, we think he's a quiet type of player, but he's shot 68% for the season. And uh, I know he's shooting 72, 73 right, percent right now in a tournament, so he's pretty close to where he's been. What do you have to do uh, for your Harvard team to be successful against Chrisman? Well, Chrisman's uh, so well coached and they're very disciplined. I think that, you know, we're going to obviously have to try to contain Redmond, and uh, they have four players in double figures. So, again, this presents the same problem that we had last night in terms of the balanced scoring that they uh, have. I, you know, I think we're going to have to board well, and we're going to have to be patient in our shot selection. Uh, Chrisman prides itself in defense, and we're going to have to move the ball real well tonight. Bruce, did anything surprise you about how your team reacted playing down here for the first time? Well, I was uh, I was real happy the way they played, but uh, we believe in ourselves, and we believe in our team, and I uh, they've done it all year, so uh, they're a very mature group. Do you think they're able here to put play them even at this uh, late date, one at a time? Right. We, uh, we just said to, the, to him in the locker room, we can't play tonight's game this afternoon. So we have to have the utmost respect for Chrisman. I can't let you go without asking you a comment about the Providence St. Mel and Hoopston East Lynn game. That was a, a real plus for Class A basketball. Well, yes, it is. Uh, both teams got a lot of talent and uh, they're very well coached. And uh, you know, I think that uh, this says a lot for Illinois basketball. Well, so does your team. It's 28-1, and, and congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. Bruce